Why is materials education important? Professor Mike Ashby of Cambridge University provides some context. Materials have enabled human progress from its earliest beginnings. Indeed, the eras of history are named for the materials of the day. This graph shows Stone Age materials. One axis shows their strength, the other shows density. The balance between strength and weight has always been important. We can see how more materials appear and more space on the graph is filled as we progress through history. It's striking how much progress has been made in the last hundred years. At the start of the last century, an engineer had only about a hundred materials to choose from. Today, there are tens of thousands. The capabilities of these materials and the way in which they are used have built our modern world. Think of the high temperature alloys without which jet engines would not exist, or how plastics have enabled low-cost, mass-produced products. It's also true that materials are related to many of our modern problems. Problems like resource consumption, energy use and air pollution. A better understanding of materials and innovation in their use must be part of solving these problems. Materials education, then, is vital, not only to develop groundbreaking products, but also for its impact on grand challenges for society, such as tackling climate change or improving human health. Materials matter in so many areas that we need not only to educate the next generation of materials scientists, but also to engage the interest of engineers, designers and scientists across a broad range of disciplines. This makes materials an ideal hub topic for educators seeking to help students work across disciplines and for the systems approach to teaching that many universities are now adopting. In the early 1990s, Mike Ashby was a founder of Granta Design, a Cambridge University spin-out company that aims to advance materials engineering and to enable better, greener, safer products through materials information and education. Today, Granta supports teaching of materials at over 1,000 universities and colleges through a rich array of teaching resources, advice and ideas. Granta facilitates collaboration among this worldwide network of materials educators. Granta's CES EduPack software provides engaging ways for students to explore and understand the world of materials, visualising properties, matching materials to applications, digging into the underlying science and evaluating environmental impact. Software is available in several languages and to support different levels of teaching, from pre-university to master's level. The Teaching Resources website offers many other supporting resources, lecture notes, presentations, student projects, exercises and videos. It helps educators to share resources, to collaborate, to enrich existing courses and to develop new ones. At Granta, our aim has been to promote and enable the teaching of materials across curricula, spanning the sciences, engineering and design. In recent years, we've been very pleased to help coordinate many materials education symposia. These events bring together hundreds of educators involved in teaching materials-related topics to undergraduates. They've demonstrated that there's an active international community with a very strong interest in advancing the interdisciplinary teaching of materials. Symposia help to support and develop this community. The aim of these educators is to equip students to progress into master's degrees, research or industry, not only with strong materials knowledge, but with the skills to think critically and ask the right questions. Granta also provides software for advanced teaching and research and tools that help engineering enterprises to manage and apply materials information. Granta is helping to ensure that materials continue to be at the forefront of human progress. Find out more at our website.